There are moments in our lives when we look up at the night sky. We see a vast dark canvas sprinkled with tiny points of light. We have always wondered what lies out there beyond our sight. For all of human history, that darkness held its secrets close. It was a mystery we could only ponder, a story with no beginning that we could read. We built bigger telescopes and better telescopes, each one a small step further into the abyss. But the deepest, oldest secrets remained hidden. To understand what Webb found, we must first understand how it sees. This is not just another telescope, it is a time machine. When you look at the sun, you are not seeing it as it is right now, you are seeing it as it was about eight minutes ago. That is how long it takes for its light to travel across 93 million miles of space to reach your eyes. The farther away an object is, the longer its light takes to get to us. So when we look at distant stars and galaxies, we are literally looking into the past. Its eye is a magnificent thing. It is a giant mirror over 21 feet across, full of 18 hexagonal segments, close-up golden reflective coating. Gold is not just for decoration. It is exceptionally good at reflecting infrared light. This is the key to Webb's power. The light from the most distant objects in the universe has been traveling for billions of years. As it travels, the expansion of the universe itself stretches the light out. The first deep field images from Webb began to arrive. And as scientists looked at them, a stunned silence fell over rooms across the world. The images were breathtakingly beautiful, deeper and clearer than anything we had ever seen before, but they were also wrong. They were not what the theories had predicted. Staring back at us from the dawn of time were not small, clumpy, infant galaxies. Why is this discovery so disturbing to astronomers? It comes down to a simple problem of time. For decades, our understanding of the cosmos was built on a model called Lambda CDM. It describes a universe of normal matter, dark matter, dark energy. The reigning champion of cosmology. It predicts slow bottom-up formation. Small clumps form first. They merge over billions of years. Let's try to put this into a more human perspective. Imagine you're a genealogist piecing together your family tree. You have birth certificates, marriage licenses, census records. You have a clear story of how your family grew over many generations. You start with a few great-great-great-grandparents. They have children who then have their own children and so on. The family tree branches out slowly and predictably over a couple of centuries. So what does this all mean for us? For science? It means we are on the cusp of a revolution. This is not a moment of failure, it's a moment of profound opportunity. When our observations conflict with our theories, it doesn't mean science is broken. It means there is something new to be discovered. Webb has handed us the most beautiful puzzle we've ever seen. Scientists around the world are now scrambling to come up with new ideas. They're rerunning their simulations with new parameters. For millennia, we have looked to the heavens and felt a sense of awe. We felt both large and small, large in our capacity to wonder, to ask questions, to build tools that can see to the edge of time, and small in the face of the sheer, unimaginable scale of it all. The universe doesn't owe us simplicity. This new emerging picture of a universe that matured quickly prompts a profound thought. If the conditions for complexity and structure arose so much earlier than we thought,